really got to get into the to Carolina too. It's a it's a lot to get into. into game, it, but yeah, I, yeah. Sure. I mean, man, him, him and thee. Come on, bro. It really was mad normal though, because like the I'm like, come on, man, don't play with my man like that. Yeah. Fact, man, don't even do that, man. Like I, the shit was I don't know. Like it was just so crazy. I feel like this, like to see on TV, like Kenny, like how. What was you thinking, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm about to take this. I'm going all the way with this. Bro, like, honestly, Tim, <clears throat> I think as an athlete, you just have certain games where, like, you're just trying to do what you're supposed to do. And, like, it, the game pretty much take control. Um, mm. and, and honestly, we say this a lot in sports. Like, once, once we get into, you know, November, December, we want to be playing our best ball. Mm. And, you know, it being, you know, early November right now, shoot, I don't play, you know, all these games already, you know what I mean? I'm just stacking up these reps. I'm just stacking up these reps, you know Thank what I mean? You. The storm's going to come. Yep. Storm adversity is going to come. So whenever it comes, you just, you just got to be ready to take advantage. And playing Carolina is one of them it's one of them games where I just I'm I'm trying to get off, bro. I'm trying to snap, bro. I'm come trying on. to I'm trying to I'm trying to do my thing. And so come on. Bro, honestly, it was one of those games where everything was just working. Everything yeah. was just yeah. right. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? When you tap yeah. in, you activate yeah. yourself yeah. like Yeah. You like, bro, yeah. I just can't miss out here. Like, on, it's one of them games, bro. Come on, hey, you come know, on. I, I, I've had several sure. games you know, sure. in my career where, like, nah, for sure. I don't activate it, and you just like, bro, I don't know, bro. I'm just playing off. Remember know, that Houston, Houston John? Remember that Houston John? Kenny I mean, seen I them, them niggas. Game like that, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to say what Kenny not about to say. <laughs> Thank you, He Thank seen speed. them niggas, yes. and he knew them niggas was a lit. <laughs> 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 That's why Kenny started going crazy. That nigga watch a film like, oh, these niggas is a lick. I'm about to go crazy. <laughs> I'm not going there. You know that's my guy. You know I'm gonna keep it. You know. Yeah. 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 No, but, no, for sure. Definitely just get out there because I ain't gonna hold you. That Houston Jones was the craziest. When he exactly. booked the first drive, mm-hmm. yeah. force fumble later. I'm like, fumble. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah, sir. Yes, I mean, sir, I ain't gonna lie. Like it's just stuff like that be prone to happen. But how did it feel? How did you feel like you know? Saying the mindset was like kind of coming mm-hmm. into uh, you know Carolina, like you know, just from a team's perspective as a leader, like. You know, we have been, you know, on a three game losing sure. streak. And to be honest with you, you know, you know, I mean, we was just it was just tough loss at the tough loss, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. how did it how do you feel like we was appro- like, you know, we was approaching it like going into the week? Bro, honestly, I think I mean for a team, yeah, we had to work through, you know, that three loss drought. Mm-hmm. And like we know we better than that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was I was saying today and I was saying to like the DBs on Saturday night, like how much I love Shane. Coach mm-hmm. Shane, yeah. just how much I really want to buy in, how much I really want the guys to buy in. And, like, it's one of those things where, like, if you got something good for yourself, if you got something good for the team, you got to protect that as best as possible. Like, mm-hmm. if we got a quarterback, we got to make sure we, you know, he stands sharp. He's doing everything that he's supposed to do for the team mm-hmm. because we just got to protect that. Mm-hmm. And uh, for, the defense, for the defensive bats, bro, you know, in the, in the last couple of weeks, like, we've been giving up, like, 36, 38, 37. 39. Like, I'm yeah. like, bro, we don't do that here. Right. You know, we may lose, but they're not putting up 40 a game. Come and on. Like, come on. I said, bro, this can't be the week where they, they can't have 15 points, bro. Like, honestly, mm-hmm. they just can't have 15 points. Mm-hmm. And so, like, what they've been putting on tape, what we put on tape, I don't see us, you know what I mean? I don't see us giving up 15 points. And so, I, I just challenged everybody to, you know, strain and don't even talk to me. Mm-hmm. That's what mm-hmm. I told the group. I said, strain, have your have your game, have a good game, or or don't talk to me. Mm-hmm. And so uh it was just one of those things where like I I had to like pretty much get outside of the box as far as stop just challenging myself, but challenge those around me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think I'm I think I'm pretty much just challenging myself in general, just trying to be, you in know, the midst of a, that. A, a, a bigger, a bigger leader. Like a, like even just you know what I mean? Cause there's different types of leaders out there and like I've always been leading by example. Silent code. But, like, I can be, I can reach more people if I just tell them, like, hey, bro, you better than that, bro. Come mm. on. Mm. Come on, bro. Mm. And so, like, when I'm talking to the group, I'm really talking to them one by one. You mm. know what I mean? Because the shoe, the shoe going to fit so, from what I'm saying. Yeah. So, you you, you going to know it's you. Yeah. And so, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I'm touching every guy in there just saying, like, hey, yo, I need more from you. And so, I told them before the game, I said, babe, 
after this game, bro, we're going to see who put something on the table so we can all eat. Because them two pits, that's not just for me, bro. That's for the entire group. That's Come a on. fact. You know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. a fact. That's, Shout out that's to the gang. Unit. Shout so, out to the gang. Shout out to the Legion. You know what I mean? When JJ get the PBU, hey, we all celebrate. Sure. We, all, we all live in there. Oh, so, no, hold on. Because I definitely need to walk through all my young boys. Because I ain't <laughs> yeah. going to hold you. The young boys really popped out and definitely stood firm, yeah, bro. Exactly. I definitely got to show love to my young boys. I call him j Like He started like, he said, why you call Shout out to that boy JJ for sure, for sure, bro. <laughs> bro he get, bro, no, he got that dog. In yeah, yeah, definitely. But, but but I just feel like in the group, you just got to stay on the guys and even guys that need work, like stay on them too because yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's the mentality aspect, the intensity aspect. It's, sure. it's everything all together that you just got to make sure everybody is sharp and on the keys because mm-hmm. it ain't it ain't it ain't doing nobody any justice. It ain't like I'm. It's a slap in the face if I'm not telling guys like. You better than that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm saying mm-hmm. that in different ways, but mm-hmm. for right now, I'm just saying you better than that. No, mm-hmm. for sure. No, for and, sure. I, and I think it's definitely, uh, you know, a challenge like when you're trying to push and be the best version of yourself, but also like you're trying to help, you know, along and give the game that you, you feel me, uh, you could give, uh, you know, for the guys that's around you, trying to help the younger players around you. Uh, right. To be honest with you, it was a tough game for me coming in, uh, you know, not being able to, you know what I'm saying, go out there and all that other stuff. Uh, I don't know. I, I keep, I, I don't know. I, I, that was the first game I had missed since uh, since high school. Mm-hmm. That was just something that I, uh, I don't know, I really just pride in myself in. But, you know what I mean, just end up not being able to make it in time. But it's just like you try and push yourself. And then also just kind of hold, you know what I mean, you know, try to help the young boys around. So shout out to my young boy, Say Goon. Though. Shout out to Say Goon. With the book. Say Goon. Shout out to Say Goon. With the book. It was, it was great. It was yeah. great. You know. Uh, Finish the game with the, just well, being, just being the passenger. Game, but it was, you know what I mean? Uh, he going to sure. be the driver of the defense. Sure. You know, just being the sure. passenger beside him, alongside sure. him. It was, it was great to see him grow in the aspect. But I will say, like, on you, like. Man, that just come with the game, bro. I know, yeah. I know we all got this pride to just be out there and just be our best each, yeah. you know, every time they turn the lights on. But, like, yeah. bro, you can only do so much, you know yeah. what I mean? Especially, you know what I mean? What Drake say, sometimes life forces us to calm down. And, like, True. you just got to be able to True. accept that that other role. And you did great in your other role yesterday, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I felt yeah. your presence, dog. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm a, I get speed in the beef and I ain't even playing. Oh, me. Hey, but that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Your, fe- your presence like, is hey, being felt. Hey, what happens to you? speak, no, I'm, so, I'm, I'm like, like, hey, folks, so he really lying to you. He <laughs> <laughs> really lying to you because I'm about to do you bad, dog. Like, dude, Look, I'm, I'm the guy on the outside like, line. Like, anytime somebody make a play, I'm out there talking greasy. But but the thing the thing about it was yesterday, bro, like the special teams, they was geek. It was geek. So y'all, okay. I was letting y'all, I'm like, damn, but these boys out here are crazy. Like, <laughs> it's not even the type of environment that I thought it was about to be. Mm-hmm. So, like, after that, they, they, everybody was getting parked. <laughs> 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 hey, so, like, the offense come out there, and one nobody talking on the offense. So I still yeah. hear Z. I'm like, Z, these. They offense not talking, bro. Nah, so yeah. I don't know who you talking to. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get, you gotta rev them up, bro. He gotta rev the engine, nah, bro. Nah, it's just look when I'm out there, I look, I get turned up. I got a beef with the other squad, but I That's got my, I got dogs over there. Shout out to my man Sheen, yeah. no Philly. Shout out, shout out to my man. Uh, shout out to Luvu. Shout out to the guys over there. Shout out to Shaq Thompson too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So definitely the gang over there. But how did it feel uh, playing against you know our, our former uh, co? How did it feel to play against Frank? Uh, I feel like playing a coach. Uh, you know, what I mean, it's a lot of love, it's a lot of respect mm-hmm. uh, with Coach Frank, right? But you know, what I mean, I'm in my zone, bro. I ain't got time to think about yeah. you know every all the components that go with it. I mm-hmm. came at the moment too big. Like, I, I'm not that type of person. I just, bro, it's just football, bro. Come mm-hmm. on. Like, do, yeah. do you ever kind of like think about like how the other team looks at you going into the game? No, mm-hmm. I gotta do my job regardless. Just go. Mm-hmm. However, way I'm a, so like. Through the progression of the game, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to figure out like how is this team trying to get down the field? If 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 everything is is starting to fail and we trying to figure it out on the sideline, I got to be one of the ones that be like, nah, I'm seeing this out here. The game because, within the game within the game. Because sure. everybody, because because I remember at one point in my career. They they ask me what you see on the field. I'm like, Shh, I don't know. You looking at me? I don't, you tell me. I'm like, just out here doing my I'm job. To come over here and ask you what you see. So like hmm. like I I don't have eyes behind my head. And so like after the play, I just be looking to the sideline, like giving certain signals or uh you know after the play, I'll see like who was behind me whenever mm-hmm. the play stopped mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Just trying to uh you know get on top of like certain formations or who they vertical you know, concepts today, like, like mm-hmm. how are they trying to use certain guys and you know every team has a certain guy as far as a uh, a possession guy that's trying to move the sticks, mm-hmm. a guy that's a gadget guy who's mm-hmm. trying to jet motion and do all these orbits and stuff, trying to get your 
your eyes to move in certain positions. And so uh, yeah. uh, a deep ball guy. So like certain things like that that I've just been trying to grow, yeah. um, just being able to try to get those answers. Mm-hmm. Right. Sweet, do you feel like that level of communication that obviously Kenny's talking about, like just that quick inside game piece, like that helps when you like, oh, Kenny, bet. Like you saw, woo, woo, bet. Now nah, we can. definitely. That's why you need a vet to like lace you up on that type shit when you're out there. Yeah. Because like I go in with a whole different – Mm-hmm. Mindset towards the game Then Kenny I'm more player personnel guy Like I'd be okay. like Alright I need to Like in a way Like how he watches Who the vertical threat is Or whatever like that I see the vertical threat Line up at two Right I mean I ain't Fucking with no scenes <laughs> Damn. So get back for the over yeah, Or whatever okay. like yeah. that No matter I see the fast guy If I see like uh, The option receiver Line up at two Yeah he ain't, if he run vertical, he ain't gonna be effective at all. Cause he not he ain't he ain't got no speed to run vertical. So I know mm-hmm. he running an option. I'm gonna stay low. Okay. Two receivers equal a high low. You feel what I'm saying? Some shit like that. So it just yeah. be like it be it be. I got I got ways in the game, but I'm sure he more compressed in it than far because he a DB. I'm gonna say this too. Like it's uh mm-hmm. it's actually mad interesting. Just like I feel like when you play, um, I always say like I feel like the NFL is just so mad diverse. Like it's people okay. from all different places. Like. So I just feel like the way we all see the game just kind of be different. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I like I, I like I tell you, for example, like I feel like how I look at the you look at the game from like a more analytical or like, OK, they do this. I'm watching this. Woo woo. It's some motherfuckers out here that just got that feel. Like, nah, mm-hmm. this nigga was leaning a little right. Like, you don't need <laughs> oh, BBD that the last three. That's me. Whoa. Whoa. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? It's just yeah. be like different ways that everybody just kind of just be, uh, you know, just understanding and reacting to the game. But mm-hmm. nah, man, it was definitely a, a, a great game, a great performance. Great to get the defense back on track. For sure. Uh, for sure, for sure, man. I feel like, you know, man, look, first of all, Kenny did enough, but. <laughs> Come on, you know himself, but even as a, as a unit, though, for sure, it was definitely one of them things, man. I, I, I tell him personally, like we don't hold that. You don't want to be a defense that just giving shit up. Like that's just that's a mentality more than it is a talent. And we all good. 